Hello, my love. This day is God's. This is my gift to him. This is our lesson today. This day is God's. Actually, every day is God's. We give every day to him. We have no the slightest idea who we are in truth, what is the best for us. But he gave us a guide and he knows. So when we full heartedly, with a full heart in mind, accept that we do not know what is anything for, and just leave it to the guide God gave us, he will only guide us to happiness, to fulfillment, back home to the Father where we are in truth. We are all back home in the Father. And in this world we have nothing to do but just to bless and to undo what we made up out of fear of God. So in this world there's no reality, nothing. The figures we made up, there we imprisoned the Christ, so we let it go. The mortal forms, just let it go, it's not real. There's no cause in life and love and happiness and joy and eternal beingness. So we just let it go. Ideas in our mind against God, against the truth, against the life. So we decide against this for life, that's all. And are happy with everyone in God, where well, we are eternally unchanged. So just imagine to every being, every being, we have eternal, holy relation, an eternal oneness. And this can never be shaken and never be changed. So it doesn't matter what, what maybe another one is yelling at you and attacking you and projecting on you. So what? Doesn't harm you at all. You're back home in the Father, safe, holy and holy, uh, and, and healed. So, be easy. Nothing in this world has any effect, any effect on the eternal truth. So, we have to read again what is a world that is, uh, before we make the lesson. Lesson, well, section three, what is a world? The world is false perception. We have to understand that in the depths came out of a cause which is only a mad idea of separation. It is born of error and has not left its source. So when I believe in separation, I still keep that up. It will remain no longer than the thought that gave it birth will be cherished. When the thought of separation has been changed to one of true forgiveness, oneness in God, will the world be seen in quite another light, and one which leads to truth, where all the world must disappear and all its errors vanish. So anything is an error here, because it came out of the idea of separation. Now its source has gone and its effects are gone as well. So it's a full understanding that we undo in our minds the world we made up. Nothing is real. So let it go. Even signs on all convictions, nothing. The world was made as an attack on God. It symbolizes fear. And what is fear except love's absence? So God is only love and so we are. His creation. But here we made up a world of fear without love. Thus the world was meant to be a place where God could enter not and where his son could be apart from him. So here we believe God is far away. No, no, God is in my mind. I'm one with God. Here was perception born, for knowledge could not cause such insane thoughts but eyes deceive and ears hear falsely. Now mistakes become quite possible, for certainty has gone. So nothing we see with our physical eyes is real. And what we hear, it's all deception. The mechanism of illusion has been born instead, and now they go to find what has been given them to seek. Our wishes. Their aim is to fulfill the purpose which the world 
the world was made to witness and make real. Death, suffering, diseases, bodies, mortal forms, etc. They see in its solution but a solid base where truth exists upheld against from lies. But I can see it, I can hear it, I can feel it. No. When you are imprisoned in a body, you don't know what truth is. You are insane. Yet everything that they report is but illusion which is kept apart from truth. It's so, it's really difficult. We imprison ourselves in bodies, see what is not there, what we projected out, and believe in it. We would never come out of this closed thinking system if God wouldn't have given us the Holy Spirit. And Jesus has learned all the lessons. So they are our guides, no one else. A sight was made to lead away from truth. It can be direct, redirected. Sounds become the call for God. And all perception can be given a new purpose by the one whom God appointed Savior of the world, the Holy Spirit. Follow his light and see the world as he beholds it. Hear his voice alone in all that speaks to you. So we have only one relation to the Holy Spirit. Let him give you peace and certainty, which you have thrown away. But heaven has preserved it for you in him. So I'm still as God created me. I'm back home in the Father. All the treasures of God are man. I have not lost anything. So I just have to accept the guide God gave me to realize this again. Let us not rest content until the world has joined our changed perception. Let us not be satisfied until forgiveness has been made complete so that we see everyone as the Holy Christ. And let us not attempt to change our function. What is our function? Only forgiveness and acceptance, the atonement, that we are all healed and whole and pure in God. We must save the world. For we who made it must behold it through the eyes of Christ. That was made to die can be restored to everlasting life. So all the mortal palms we let go and we see the Christ beyond. That's our work and that is most, most beautiful because it is fulfilling. <laughs> and I'm one with you, brother. When I say brother, I don't mean a, a male, definitely not. It's a holy self. God is light and love, and we, the sons of God, are light and love, sharing one identity. Beautiful. Now our lesson. Our lesson. Lesson 242. This day is God. It is my gift to him. I formulate it a little bit different. This day is you, my Father, beloved God. It is my gift to you. And immediately I feel the love of the Father. And the call, he calls me day and night. And wants to make me happy. This day is God's, it is my gift to him. I will not lead my life alone today. I do not understand the world, no. And so to try to lead my life alone must be but foolishness. Yes. How can I understand this world, which is totally insane? But there is one who knows all that is best for me. And he is glad to make no choice for me but the ones that lead to God. Beautiful. I give this day to him. The Holy Spirit, for I would not delay my coming home, and it is He who knows the way to God. So God has all given us the Holy Spirit, the guide to truth, the guide to love, the guide to liberation. We would be very, very foolish when we listen to the ego, which wants only to guide us to death. So we change our desire from death to life from pain to joy, and let him lead the way. It's a prayer. And so we give today to you. We come with holy open minds, 
We do not ask for anything that we may think we want. Give us what you have received by us. Give us what you would have received by us, what he wants that we receive. You know all our desires and our wants. And you will give us everything we need, helping us to find the way to you. So what does he know what we want? Definitely our true holy self, all the gifts of God. Being his son in his love arms, in his heart. That's what we want. That makes us happy. Nothing in the world. Absolutely nothing. So we are all one. We share one identity. That's the truth. And the rest is just insane. We let it be undone. Wonderful. I feel very content. Uh, I feel back home, Jesus, in the Father with you. Yes, I feel that our every being is a part of me. And that is God blessing through me, everyone. No, I cannot be hurt when I live in God. It's impossible. I'm the whole, I'm holy, I'm safe. So when I accept my holiness and wholeness in the Father, suffering is impossible. I'm not in a body. And this body is just a tool, a communication means or instrument and guided by Holy Spirit and you. So what? Functioning perfect, but it's not me. I am the whole. I am the whole. I am the whole. I am the whole and never lived in a body. I'm the Holy Son of God, the extension of the Father. Never left the Father. And I extended with the Father to my creation, my true creations. Not the fourth creation of this world, the silent God, but my true creations. The children of my holy mind. And when I feel them, ah, this makes me so happy. This is true life, true joy. Such a beauty. The life is so great. In this world, in this hell, life is terrible. It's struggle. Struggle and by the ego guided for certainty to death. So let it go. Let that world of suffering go. And enjoy to be back home as a father. Do that. Okay. Lesson 242. This day is God's. It is my gift to him. I will not lead my life alone today. I do not understand the world, and so to try to lead my life alone must be but foolishness. But there is one who knows all that is best for me, and he is glad to make no choice for me but the ones that lead to God. That's his purpose, that's his function, so I let him guide me. I give this day to him, for I would not delay my coming home. And it is he who knows the way to God. Isn't that great? So I have no, no aims, no goals in this world. No talents, no demonstration, no. I am so far beyond this world. I am the whole universe, I am the whole heaven. What I need, those little trifle things here in this world, which don't, doesn't make me happy, but only bind me to the hell. No. The prayer. And so we give today to you. We come with holy open mind. We do not ask for anything that we may think we want. No. Give us what you would have received by us. You know all our desires and, you, and our wants, because he created us. He knows what we need. You know all our desires and our wants, and you will give us everything we need in helping us to find the way to you. So when we really decide for the kingdom, who we are, the heaven, and only strive for that, the holy self, one with Father, then everything we need here in that world for our function will be given to us without any effort. It doesn't have to be very fancy. We just have what we need, a roof over the head, 
<laughs> something to eat and clothes and that's it. We don't need anything. We have everything, the unlimited. Beingness, all the gifts of God are mine, the joy, the peace, the eternal life in Him, safe. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, I give that day to Him. I give that day to Him. I'm very happy. I feel the Father's embrace. And I feel that I'm in the present, awakened, safe. Yes, I take any brother in. Uh -huh. Okay, I will. <sighs> what do you feel? That I'm one with that brother and happy and the Father. So what about all the attacks and projections? Well, there are misunderstandings. When we put ourselves under the guide of the ego, the ego only attacks, and the ego is so fearsome that we might detect that the ego cannot give us anything, anything, nothing. The whole world doesn't give us anything, but God has given us everything. And the noise you hear outside so loud, ah, I've forgotten my mic to put here in front. Well, <laughs> doesn't help <have> much. <laughs> Uh, the noise we hear outside is uh, are the people who take the garbage away. So I give now the whole world, the whole garbage I made up to Holy Spirit and let it be undone in my mind and just see the eternal truth in everyone, the Christ. We exchange that world for Christ with nothing but this. And we are grateful that we are one with every being. In joy and peace and harmony. No mortal forms. No mortal forms anymore. I'm not clinging to any mortal form. But but give my my children, my grandchildren, partner, friends, whoever I think, my politicians free to be one with me and God. We are all one. And love and life is what we are. Light, love and life. Beautiful. Enjoy the day given to the Father. We are already back home. We are already back home. Fulfilled and enjoying our oneness. That's all. Heaven is oneness. Absolute oneness. Beautiful.